Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. This is all of my natural favorite must-have postpartum supplies. This is the video for you if you're about to have a baby, whether you've had one or this is your first or you've had many. I love these kinds of videos and I'm really excited to share all this stuff with you. Some of these things are my favorites that I've loved with every baby I've had and others are new things that I have just learned about. So I'm excited for both. Okay, first thing, pads. I've got these regular size organic and then I've got this big bag of overnight size. It's L brand, you can get them at Target. And then I've also got uh, adult diapers. Yay. <laughs> I know, but I like them both. I like all of them. I like having all my options so I can use whatever's most comfortable because you never know how it's going to go. So that's what I have. The next thing I have is this big thing of Chuck's pads. They're like those waterproof puppy pads. I love laying these on my bed after the baby's born for catching any leaks of any kind from me or the baby. <laughs> these are a must have. The next thing I have is a belly band. This one just velcros right here in the front and it's super adjustable. I haven't actually used one of these before. I've heard good things because in a lot of other cultures that have traditional postpartum practices, they will wrap the postpartum mother's belly with some kind of with some kind of uh, fabric wrap and here in America, we just don't have those traditional postpartum practices. After you have a baby, all of your organs are going back into place and it's a really big time of shifting. So you can feel really loose and having something that just kind of hugs you is really nice. It feels really nice. So I'm excited for this. The next thing I have is two different sprays. I've got this Lavaderm spray by Young Living. It has essential oils in it. It's really good for spraying down there after you have a baby. I love it. It's been my favorite to use for all kinds of skin things beyond just postpartum. The next spray I have is this one by Earth Mama. It's the herbal perennial spray. It really helps with a lot of the swelling. And it's really cooling. And I forgot to add, I also have a nursing balm by this same company by Earth Mama that is great. I just forgot to get it out and it's like packed away in my birth bag. So I also have that. These next things are for managing the afterbirth pains. And I didn't know about these until I had my second baby and they were game changer. Like my healing process with my second baby, which by the way was my biggest baby, was so much easier than my first baby who was my smallest baby. So that is this After East Tincture by Wish Garden Herbs. This is a must have. And then this Arnica 30C, the tablets um, that you take. This stuff is so good. It helps with swelling and soreness. I recovered in days with my second baby taking these things versus weeks with my first. So I love these. And I took them instead of something like Tylenol or ibuprofen. Highly recommend. Okay, while we're on tinctures from Wish Garden, because I loaded up this time, these two are new for me, but I have the Rebalance tincture by Wish Garden and the Baby Blues tincture also by Wish Garden. I have not tried these yet, but I am really excited to because the after East tincture works so well and obviously these are for different things obviously baby blues the rebalance one is for rebalancing your hormones i had postpartum depression after my last baby so this is part of my game plan to ward that off and it's just a really hormonal time even if you don't have a history of postpartum depression it can be really nice to have something to help just rebalance the hormones and even everything out. Also, while we're on supplements and things like that, I always have fennel and peppermint essential oil when I'm postpartum. The reason is I have had both undersupply and oversupply at different points nursing different babies, and fennel helps boost your milk, and peppermint helps 
decrease your milk supply, which you would think you wouldn't want when you're breastfeeding, but I had such a hard time with oversupply with my last baby that peppermint was a really, really big help. So this one is the Peppermint Vitality by Young Living. And what I do is I take it in one of these veggie capsules. I'll get them out and show you. These veggie capsules just come apart like this and you can drop your essential oils inside with olive oil and take it like your own vitamin or supplement and it works great. So I love having these veggie capsules, super inexpensive to get on hand to make my own supplements. Do be mindful not to make them ahead of time because the essential oils will melt through the capsule if you make it too much ahead of time. So make it and then take it right away. And then the last supplement I have is a new one to me. It is sunflower lecithin, but it helps if you get clogged ducts and helps prevent mastitis and that kind of thing. If you have clogged ducts for too long, it can turn into mastitis. So I've never tried these before, but every nursing mom swears by them. So I got some. The next thing is nursing tank tops. I have these from Target with the little clips on them. They also have padding, which is really nice because they won't be too constricting when my milk comes in. With these, you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to, and it's just super comfy. They're from Target, super inexpensive. Then I have just a box of nursing pads. I don't always leak a ton, but I learned from last time <laughs> that each experience is different. So box of nursing pads. Then I have the breast milk storage bags. I'm planning on using these storage bags for my Hakka. I've never used this before, but this would have been my saving grace last time. So I am super excited to use this thing. It has tons of good reviews, highly recommended, super excited for this. Another nursing thing that I have are these Therapearl breast therapy packs. I've never used these before, but they came recommended. When your milk is coming in, if you get engorged, anything like that, you want something like this. It says you can use them for cold therapy or hot therapy, and that will be really nice. Another thing I really like to have is a basket with all my postpartum supplies in it to put on the back of the toilet so it's easy access. So I've got throwaway underwear in here, just a cheap pack off of Amazon. I've got a Perry bottle in here. You can put just water in here or you can get some sits bath, like herbal sits bath, and put it in here and it's really good. Then I have some overnight size pads, so the big size ones. And then I have a bunch of the adult diapers in here. I will link the kind that I get below because there is a difference and there are good ones. So I will link them below. And the last thing I have, which is also a new to me thing, is this My Breast Friend nursing pillow. It is very different than the Boppy. I've used the Boppy with my other kids and I decided I wanted to try something different, something new this time. This one feels a lot more comfortable than the Boppy. It has, if you see here, it has uh, this back support. It clips over on this side around your waist. Then it has this whole pocket in front so you can put a snack or your phone in there and have it close by and you aren't reaching around for things uh, or bored out of your mind or hungry <laughs> while you're nursing. It also sits a little bit better than the boppy does on me. So definitely try different nursing pillows out if you're planning on breastfeeding because there is a big difference and I already love this one. Just the feeling of it on a lot better than the boppy. So that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. These are the things I was telling you guys about that I forgot earlier. This is the nursing nipple butter that I haven't tried before but comes highly recommended. This is another new thing to me, but I've also heard good things about it. I've only tried the spray before. I figure I'd rather have more than I need than less as far as recovery goes. And then these were another recommendation that I've never personally used before, but also really looking forward to using these when 
we're learning to nurse and maybe the baby's nursing skills aren't the best and I'm a little sore. So definitely get these if you're having a baby soon.